Major. Josh, in Ukraine, is it an invasion and do the Russians commit an act of war? Well, what we have seen from the Russians is consistent with the kind of behavior that we've seen with, from them for many months now. Uh, we have seen there's, we, there's all ample intelligence, uh, social media reporting uh, to indicate that the they're actively. The Secretary General now call it Russian regulars in Ukraine with military equipment. Is that an invasion? Is it an act of war? Well, the evidence that has been presented by NATO is compelling. Uh, and it does indicate that Russia is continuing to do the kinds of things, using their military might, to further destabilize the situation in Ukraine. What we have asked the, called on the Russians to do is to actually use their influence in Ukraine to try to de-escalate the situation there. And it's clear that they're, they're not doing that right now. But doesn't in the language matter in this case? Is there something that is you are reluctant to use those words to describe what appears to be happening in front of everyone's eyes in Ukraine? I think we've been very clear about describing what exactly has happened there. The President did when he was asked this question yesterday, and we have been for many months. Uh, as the Russian military has allowed weapons and material to be transferred across the border, uh, as the w Russian military has fired on Ukrainian military positions, uh, as the uh, Russian military has even uh, put boots on the ground in Ukraine, uh, we have regularly marshaled evidence to indicate uh, what exactly is happening. Despite the protestations uh, of the Russian government that for some reason would have us all believe otherwise, uh, the fact is those denials are completely um, without any credibility. And uh, we, you know, we've been pretty candid about that, I think. You mentioned earlier.